Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything. I'm coming at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and continue on with our Sarissa Precision Limited building project for our Princeton project. Uh, this is the last building of the Sarissa line that I'm going to be doing for the Princeton project. After this, I'm actually going to be building a Renedra church. But that's a plastic building, and it's not, it's not Sarissa. This is the last one. It is the Old Europe water mill. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this open. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, this is the first building that actually has two pages of instructions. Uh, actually, more than that. I mean, this is just a simple picture. But it's got page one, page two page three, it's got 17 steps. Unlike most of the other Sarissa buildings, which only have like six or seven steps. Okay, now what I'm doing is, I'm laid out uh, my workbench here, but I have some wax paper down. That's so that if any of my glue overspills or I apply too much glue or it just sticks to the table, it won't. It'll actually stick to the wax paper. Now, Sarissa buildings are made out of, or Sarissa models actually, are all made out of MDF board and uh, the MDF when you go to paint it will actually absorb your paint so you're going to have to uh, prime it and you might have to apply a couple of layers of prime okay this that piece came out really good really easy okay and I noticed that most of the already the attachment spots are already popped out all the little slots so let's go ahead and punch everything out uh, and just be very careful not to break any of the model. And then I'll be right back. All right, now I was able to knock all the pieces out and they popped out really easily. I'm, I appreciated that. Now these doors, you can see they are cut out. Uh, you can pop them out if you want to have a door. I don't. I don't want to have an open doorway. I want to actually take advantage of the modeled door and I play a, uh, a rank and file game and a black powder, and I don't play a skirmish game of any kind with this uh, mill, so we won't need to use any kind of like getting into the building or anything like that. That's not something that's necessary. This is actually going to sit on the table as a, a building sector area. All right, now let's show you how he gets to put it together. You have these. Uh, models that or these boards that have slots now the slots have to go into the model so what we're going to do is apply a little bit of glue and I use Aileen's tacky glue because it doesn't run it dries clear and it's very sturdy and it's uh, good for wood or paper projects right and now it's going to sit up awkwardly like this but that's fine just leave it like that then you take the next building with the door, and you're going to do the same on the other side. All right, now I've decided that I'm going to put a little glue along the side of this edge here. I didn't realize that. This prop, this could need some. There. And that will allow these pieces to glue together. Now understand this is just sitting awkwardly where it belongs because we're going to keep adding walls to this. The next wall we're going to add is the front open. Whoops. Let's orient this where. I got the walkway in front of me. This is a one with the door. That's going to That's going to slot down inside this slot. But also up the wall there. going to lay against the floor. Got it. 
just going to hook into this little notch over here. And it's going to lay flush against the wall right there. All kinds of connections. Okay, that's in. Okay, don't want to mess with it too much. And then we're going to lay the back wall in. The back wall is going to tuck underneath the walkway and lay and these two little these notches here will hook on to there and there and underneath. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put the underneath. Got it. And then the top row. Okay. Should apply some glue there. And then glue on there. And here we go. Let's tuck it underneath. Get the little holes to line up. Yep, just like so. There should be one right there on the top and the bottom. Yep, just like that. Okay. Clean off any excess glue. Perfect. And then now there's going to be one large back wall. That's this guy. And that's going to do kind of the same thing. Slot into the notches. Along the back. straight line across there and there up and down there there we go and here we go okay now with all of that pressing in and the glue drying, that's when I grab my rubber band and we kind of put them together to make sure everything is being pressed in and is fitting tightly so the glue will grab a hold and dry properly. Yeah, so far so good. And this looks like I probably should use a second rubber band on this, but I'm not going to do that. Now on this side, you can see that the stones are all along the side there. But on the opposite side, you see that there is an opening right there. And they provide you with a wall, like for the water, that would glue underneath this way with the extra notches over here. There. Where it makes contact with the wood. The support beams and the like. Like that. Now I just gotta tuck it in. Ah, wait, it's not snapping in properly. There we go, there we go. And there we go. There. 
looks like it's the end here, which is going to go on the end there. Apply some glues on the floor and on the three walls there. Trying to get that little spot to go in the hole here. Aha, aha, aha. There it goes. And then the walls. Okay, it shows this little brick thing here on the inside along there. You're probably never ever going to see this piece. But just in case. Okay, that is everything from the first page. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue into position these, these uh, walkway rails. And you'll notice that they're not the same size. One is shorter than the other. And they do say that they have to be flexed into position. Okay, it looks like this guy is going to be going on this side. And they're going to hook into that little, uh, into the bridge. Now oh, that wasn't too hard to get in. Okay, but I need to apply some glue to that. holes and then press it up against the walkway and the little rails should snap in there's little grooves on the walkway it should go into perfect clean off all the excess there we go inside and out there we go make sure you put the glue in the right spot remember I'm using aliens it's a little thick but it'll dry clear and you won't ever notice and once you go to paint it, that'll disguise all that anyway. Okay, those rails are on. Now it says glue the assembly in place on the base panel. This is the base panel. Okay, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn this over because I want to see where everything's making connection. Right there, right here, right there. And that just fell right through. And that should go right. So it's there, 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 and there. Okay. And then, of course, just fell right off. Okay, so we got the base walkway. Now this doesn't want to sit flat for some reason, so I might need to put some weight on it. Just a little bit, just just enough to hold it down. That's not going to hold it down. Yeah, that'll hold it down. Okay. 
Okay, and then it says glue the end walkway panel into place, and that's this big bad boy right here. And so that's going to have, you know, that's going to glue to those studs that stick out. And then also underneath the walkway. So I apply glue to the top side of it. Okay. Oh, well, probably should put some glue on the top side of this. There we go. And then that's going to be tucked up underneath there. Okay. That's on, that's in, that's on. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take this piece, we're going to set it off to the side and let it dry while we work on some other pieces. Okay, so now we're talking about the paddle wheel axle. This should be snapped apart. There we go. It says glue these two pieces together. Okay, so we're going to glue them together. Trying to make it as even as possible that you can, with the naked eye, you know. And then it says glue the paddle wheel sides to the paddle wheel axle. So I'm going to put some glue on the inside of each of the axle play, uh, wheels. This looks like this goes up and down, so we're going to put it in there up and down. There we go, perfecto. And then we're going to put this one in as well. up and down. Now I can stand it up and I can line the axles up and the wheels. But I'm getting ready to adjust that anyway, so don't don't worry about that too much. Okay, now you have a number of paddles that go on the wheel and you just glue these in into place. So here we go, let's just start gluing. Put a little glue on each of the notches. Now be careful, these are printed on one side or cut on one side and then they're flat on the other. So as I'm assembling it, I'm putting the, the image up so that your viewer, whoever's looking at your model, will be able to see those paddle wheel, the, the extra, basically model the art. Because if you had it face down or if they even were going all in the same direction, you would lose half of your art 
I should have cut it on both sides, but you can't have everything. Okay, once you get that set, just go ahead and let that sit off to the side just for a second to let it dry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue the bank side axle support together. So the bank side axle support is this and those. And those are pretty straightforward. And it makes kind of a cage. Okay. Okay, it says to just slide it onto the axle and then glue it as if this is going to spin. It's not going to spin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually glue it on. Uh, it just doesn't make sense not to. Yeah, so we're going to apply a little bit of glue on that. And then... On the bottom of the wheel, you've got these beams that stick down into these holes, right? I'm going to apply a little bit of glue on those. Just a little, nothing, nothing too heinous. And I'm going to apply a little glue where the support rests. Okay, so far all this is coming together. Okay, axle. supports okay now they should be sticking out from the bottom I got to push these back up but when I put it back down on the wax paper it should be and it's flat a flat table it should force it back up and it just did there you go what do you think so far so good I'm liking it so far okay All right, we're on the last page. We're going to be working with the main house. So now you have these paddle wheel roof covers, right? And I'm going to glue, and this is the paddle wheel cover, paddle wheel roof. Um, it's going to sit up here. I, can, I guess I can get rid of this rubber band by now. It's going to sit up here. 
and this is going to sit or slide fit in there. So what we're going to do is move this to these first. Okay. Just like such. And then we'll move this one the same way. And we're going to let that set off to the side and just dry a few minutes. At the same time, I'm going to take the short roof and I'm going to glue the roof supports as well. it Get like a little triangular roof piece there. Apply a little bit of pressure. Get rid of any excess. On the top as well. And then I set that up standing up like this so there's no pressure on it. And then we do that again for the large roof. Large roof has these big open support beams. You'll notice on the roof it'll have these little bitty uh, tiles. That would be the piece that actually rests against the other roof. So that's where you can apply glue against that. Looking for the long shingles, those go on the bottom. Oh, maybe they don't. Maybe they go on the top. Yep, they go on the top. Or the soaps or the support beams wouldn't have fit. Okay, that side fits. Oh, there we go. That side fits as well. Okay. Apply a little bit of pressure to make sure all the glue is where it belongs. And that the pressure allows it to grip. And then we'll set that off to the side, allowing it to dry. Okay. So while those are drying, we're going to go ahead and glue the steps which there's a couple of notches on each of these that these steps will just slide right on into. Just like that.
Okay. All right, so you got your got your steps. Now Now to get this to stay where it belongs, I'm going to need to stand this model up or at least put it on its side. So what I want to do is kind of just wait a little bit for those steps to dry. Let's go ahead and put these in the holes. See, I can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. that to slide right on in there okay now it's my guess is if I tilt this up that could come out so what I'm going to do is set that up like that for a few minutes let that dry okay now when the roofs dry and these are closer to being dry I'll be right back all right now this is the finished wheel house now uh, you got these roofs that we made earlier. They sit right on the inside of this. I could glue these down if I wanted, or I can leave them open where I could put things inside like models. Uh, I'm going to leave it off just in case if in the future I ever want to do like a skirmish game, I could use that. And then same thing with this roof. It just slides. Make sure you tuck the ins one of these sides inside this. And then just push it up against, just push it up against the wall there. There you go. What do you think? Looks pretty good. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out and checking out this video. If you want to see the other Sarissa buildings that I made, you should check out my uh, Princeton project. And if you want to see how this looks once it gets painted then come back, continue to come back and watch the Princeton Project because as I build up my models and my miniatures and the terrain for the Princeton Project, I'll have also some painting done on these to show you what they look like once they're fully painted. All right, guys, thanks for coming out, and I'll see you next time.